If your house caught fire, would you know what to do to get out alive? Well, you can find out today in New Haven where firefighters are demonstrating fire safety techniques. Action News reporter Belkis Nore is standing by live with more. Belkis? That's right, Diane. The New Haven Fire Department is putting on the demonstrations along with Aetna. It's called the Safe at Home Fire Prevention Program. And what they're teaching people is the hazards, that, the potential hazards that they may have in their home. You may be asking yourself, what's going on behind me? Well, this is the result of what a careless smoker can do. What the uh, fire department did here was uh, demonstrate how a fire can be caused by someone that maybe is a smoker. They think they put out their cigarette, but what they may not know is that ashes may have gotten on the couch, and they may not see any smoke right away, but what happens is that those ashes go into the foam that may be inside the couch, and it just starts to burn little by little and starts to smolder inside that foam, and before you know it, this is what happens. Now, the firefighters already went in here and tried to put the fire out already once, but it was way bigger than this. The windows were blowing out. If you can see all the awning melted here, and it only took a matter of maybe uh, a minute and a half, no more than two minutes, okay? Now, they also demonstrated the two most common causes of residential fires. They showed us how a space heater can cause a fire now, especially during the winter months. That one was totally amazing because we were in the room where the, fi uh, the, uh, the demonstration took place, and within 15, 20 seconds already, uh, my eyes started to sit sting and I was having trouble even breathing so that's how dangerous that can be and the other uh, fi uh, the other kind of fire they demonstrated was a careless cooking fire which here in New Haven fire officials tell me last year they had to respond to over 300 of these particular fires also very dangerous and very very uh, easy to happen because you put a, a, a pot on the stove with cooking oil you may walk away to answer your phone or or check on your kids or go to the door to pay the paper boy, whatever it is. And when you get back, this, this pot has caught fire and uh, your whole kitchen's on fire pretty much. Uh, it's obviously, smoke detectors are, are what's important here. And it's uh, very important to mention that every 69 seconds nationally, one of these fires take place and they could be prevented. Joining us live is uh, Phil Crombie. He is with the Aetna Fire Safety Program. Phil, as I mentioned, I was amazed at just how quickly all three of these fires just, just took off. Yes, very quickly. Within a matter of a few minutes, the smoke is very thick. The temperature at the ceiling is increasing to well above 1,000 degrees. So it doesn't take very long at all before it becomes very difficult for people to get out of their homes. Very quickly, uh, you mentioned that the careless cooking fires make, out, make up about 25% of fires nationwide. Obviously, very people out there are very prone. This may happen. What do they need to do? What are some tips for people? The most important thing is to concentrate on what you're doing in the kitchen, to pay attention, also to be prepared for a fire, to have a lid to the pan so that you can cover that pan and turn off the heat on the stove. What you don't want to do is try and move that pan. You have much greater chance of spreading the fire, of injuring yourself if you try and move a burning pan. Some very important tips here, and obviously we can't stress the smoke detectors uh, m uh, as they're the most important thing you need to have in your home. Now, if you're interested in more tips, um, Et the Etna's putting out this 10-minute fire safety audit. What you'll find in this booklet is uh, tips, potential hazards in your home from every everywhere in your basement to your attic, and you can get it free by just calling 1-800-950-SMOK. Reporting live from New Haven, back to you in the studio. Okay, thank you, Belkis. And we just want to emphasize that uh, Belkis is not standing in front of a real fire. That is a demonstration fire, and the fire department is very much in charge of it. And some good advice today. Do you know 38 ways to make your home safe against fire? The New Haven Fire Department teaming up with the Aetna shows us firsthand what can happen if you don't. 16 off-duty firefighters helping put out some of the most common home fires started by space heaters and grease. This reenactment is an effort to spread awareness about a common killer. Experts telling Channel 3's Mika Brzezinski how quickly a fire can spread. How quickly can this happen? This is happening within two or three minutes happens very quickly. One of the keys for people outside this room would be smoke detectors in the home. As you can hear, in about 30 seconds, the smoke detector has activated. So a person who's sleeping in this bed hopefully could wake up and get out of the room. 
Aetna and the National Fire Prevention Association also want you to know there's a pamphlet available to help you learn more about how to make your home safer. To get one, all you have to do is call 1-800-950-SMOKE, without the E, S-M-O-K. In numbers, that's 1-800-950-7665. Good, useful information. It certainly is. I'm glad you had the numbers, because don't you hate having to figure it out on the phone? I know. The most common house fires don't have to happen. Hi, everybody. You can avoid a potentially deadly house fire, and there are 38 ways to do it. The New Haven Fire Department teaming up today with Aetna Life and Casualty to show you how, because more than a dozen people have died in New Haven house fires in the past five years. Channel 3's Mika Brzezinski reports. It took less than three minutes for this bedroom to be set ablaze by fire officials. They're setting fires all over this abandoned house and inviting us inside. It's part of a team effort by Aetna and the New Haven Fire Department. They're hoping you'll learn firsthand how easily a fire like this begins, but ultimately how simply death and destruction can be avoided. Heating fires are account for about 25% of all home fires. Phil Crombie of Aetna Fire Safety gives us a first-hand look at the most common house fires, beginning in the bedroom. He says the most fatal mistake people make is to bring the space heater close to the bed on a chilly night. Sometime during the night, they begin to get a little warm. They throw those bed clothes into the space heater itself. You begin to get a fire. It is a vivid example of how a working smoke detector can be vital. As you can hear, in about 30 seconds, the smoke detector has activated. So a person who's sleeping in this bed hopefully could wake up and get out of the room. Crombie then takes us into the kitchen where most house fires are started. They may go to check on the kids that are watching TV. Somebody may come to the door. The phone may ring. And they don't pay attention to what's going on on the stove. Where a pan of grease can become an inferno. Within just a few minutes, the fire is going to spread to the cabinets. Once it gets to the cabinets, it's going to burn very quickly throughout the rooms. And if there are holes in the walls or ceiling, fire officials say that helps the flames spread even faster. Any house that has any openings, pipes going up from ceilings, a little bit of space, that's where fires travel. We've shown you how these fires commonly start, but the point of this exercise is to motivate you to find out how you can make your home safer. Now, Aetna's co-sponsored this pamphlet, which takes you room by room through your house with life-saving advice. If you'd like a copy, you can call their fire prevention program at 1-800-950-7665. In New Haven, Mika Brzezinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. House fires have claimed 13 lives and done millions in damage in New Haven over the past five years. That's why the city's fire department and Aetna are teaming up to help you learn how those fires are started and how they can be avoided. Fire officials use an abandoned city building to show the most common ways deadly fires have been ignited. Smoking in bed or a space heater in the bedroom can set any house ablaze within minutes. Grease cooking on the stove can become an inferno if left unattended. Within just a few minutes, the fire is going to spread to the cabinets. Once it gets to the cabinets, it's going to burn very quickly throughout the room. So once it starts, the fire grows very quickly. And that's an important point in terms of home safety. You can find you out uh, more about how to prevent deadly house fire in a pamphlet that's sponsored by Aetna. To get your copy, you can call this number on your screen, 1-800-950-7665. Still ahead, would you know how to handle a grease fire? We're going to have some tips on how to protect yourself and your family from two of the most common household fires. Would you know what to do if your home were on fire? Today, the New Haven Fire Department and Aetna Insurance teamed up to give us tips on two of the most common household fires. Using an abandoned home in the hill section of New Haven, they demonstrated how quickly space heater and grease fires can become killers. People move a space heater in, particularly at night, put it close to the bed. Sometime during the night, you tend to throw off the covers as you get too hot. The covers come in contact with the space heater, and during the night, those covers begin to burn. Keep the space heater at least three feet away from combustible materials. Bedding, chairs, newspapers, whatever you might have in your home. The second 
point is to make sure that the smoke detectors in the home are working. Typical fire in a kitchen is the, the person doing the cooking leaves the pan on the stove, starts to heat up the oil, the phone rings, somebody comes to the door, uh, the kids are playing upstairs and you go and check on the kids, and that oil heats up and begins to burn. Once that grease begins to burn, it doesn't take very long at all for that fire to grow. Don't move the pan. At this point, you're just gonna spread the fire. Try and cover the pan if it's too hot, get out of the house and call the fire department. Well, there's a lot more ahead here on Action News at 6 tonight. Fire officials go to some pretty dramatic extremes to show us the importance of fire safety in our homes. Say, if your house were to catch on fire, would you know what to do? Even more importantly, what steps you can take to prevent a fire in your home? Well, getting this valuable information out to the public is part of a joint program now underway involving the city of New Haven and the folks at Aetna Insurance. And Action News reporter Belkis Nere tells us all about it. The statistics are startling. In the United States, a house fire breaks out every 69 seconds. Today, the New Haven Fire Department and Aetna Insurance tried to make that point clear as part of their Safe at Home Fire Prevention Program. One aimed at showing people how quickly and easily a fire can spread. They demonstrated by showing one of the most common causes of house fires, space heaters. Oftentimes, bed linens end up in the heater. Within about 15 seconds, the smoke gets so thick it's hard to breathe. In less than five minutes, most of the bed is engulfed in flames. And 90% of the time, it's a smoke that will get to you. You start to lose your senses after a while with smoke. That's why when you're in bed, sometimes you don't even realize it's happening to you. Think about how many times you may have left a pot on the stove with cooking oil to go check on your kids, take a phone call. By the time you get back, this is what your kitchen might look like. The kitchen is the number one site for a home fire. So what should you do? Put a cover on it to smother the fire. What happens more often and what shouldn't be done is for the person to try and pick up the pan with the oil burning in it. Typically, the person would pick up the pan and try and take it to the sink. Neighborhood residents looked on as today's demonstrations took place. Some were surprised to see just how quickly a fire can spread. But I mean, you can just fall asleep, not even five minutes, and it could start a fire and burn the whole house down, and lives could be taken, many other things could happen. Over the past five years, New Haven has seen almost 1,000 residential fires. These resulted in 13 deaths and close to $13 million in property damage. Fire officials hope that by putting on these demonstrations, they can keep these numbers from rising. In New Haven, Belkis Nere, Action News 8. Now you can call and get a free fire prevention booklet if you want it. It outlines possible fire hazards within your home. And here's the number you call. It's toll free, 1-800-950-SMOKE. That's 1-800-950-SMOK. New Haven's Fire Department and the Aetna team up on a fire safety program stressing the dangers of smoking in bed, having a space heater in the bedroom, and cooking with grease on a stove that's left unattended. New Haven house fires have claimed 13 lives over the past five years.